Hello there, welcome back to Great Britain and England. So, last time we ended, uh, well, this is last isolation, we, among others, vassalized uh, Brittany. I believe actually that's it. I don't know any why I say what, among others. I've had some issues with, well, we have vassalized Bruins too, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I had some issues with um, the current internet, so I'm, this upload might actually be late. Uh, I've, I've tried to upload some other videos be, uh, for today. Didn't work out, so if this is late, I do apologize. It's intended for uh, April 29th, so if it gets uploaded then, then I'm on schedule. Mostly, hopefully. We'll see. Uh, anyways, that doesn't really matter right now. We're going to continue with what we have been doing, and Attila the Hun has been giving me or confirming and denying some of my uh, claims and ideas that I can't actually peacefully vassal heretic uh, neighbors. And apparently I was wrong there, so that is that's definitely good to know. Other than that, we uh, won't be doing too much, I think. We will keep on uh, the process of integrating France. We'll keep on picking on Castile, get uh, Gibraltar here fully uh, well, fully developed so to speak and hopefully we can make something work out of that. Coalition currently consists of uh, as you see Portugal, Castile and Aragon. Portugal needs to be, they need to go so we'll definitely be attacking them I think uh, right away here. Doesn't actually make too much sense to, uh, to leave them hanging around. And as such, I will be needing to to send a fleet with probably mercenaries down to, uh, well, down to their islands. So let us just hire, I think, four mercenary squads for for each of uh, each of the islands should be should suffice. So we'll hire these guys, and then we'll sail there, sail the uh, troops down south, and then we'll declare one the uh, the three bastards here. The goal, of course, will be to uh, to get rid of. Uh, I guess I'll accept that, and I guess I'll accept that. The goal, of course, as I said, will be to get rid of Portugal, and also get the Granada and Provinces back, and potentially Mercia. So, we do have some goals that we will be attempting it to, uh, to well, fill out. And also, as you can see, the Castilians are already at war. So, of course, that means uh, that means that we have even a, uh, a further advantage in, uh, in the fact that, of course, they are at war. They will be weakened. My apologies. Um, as I said, due to the fact that war will be weakened, uh, what just happened if... Um, I'll, I'll probably just edit it out. Uh, this is uh, kind of infuriating. Tercy will be fielded here, but uh, that can be that can be solved. What happened right now is that Yama decided that this would be a perfect time to ask if uh, they could uh, update the... Uh, well, the Java on the computer. And as a result of that, I got... Uh, well... I wouldn't say I got booted, but... Uh, I got tossed out of the game, and my recording device or program actually records only once uh, in the uh, when I'm in the program itself. So I can't actually record unless, as you might imagine, I'm in a program. And as a result of that, I uh, I got into kind of a problem here. But that doesn't matter. We will be declaring war on uh, these guys. Naples will be brought in. Naples is kind of getting small here. If I force them to release Sicily, I might actually peacefully be able to peacefully vassalize them. And potentially Sicily here. I might actually even be able to peacefully vassalize Crete. And actually I'm able to, so we'll probably do something there. And of course we do want to uh, we do want to get rid of some of our neighbors. We want to attack Sweden. I really have a lot of plans going. That's uh that's right, I want to attack Sweden to take the Norwegian provinces back. Hmm, we'll probably do that pretty damn soon. Take Finnmark as well, just to block Sweden completely out from the north. Anyways, Castile is, uh, unfortunately for them, first priority, or Portugal mostly. So let us go here at the clear war. Austria will be joining, which is great. They'll probably deal with uh, Naples for us, hopefully. So let us just declare war here. There's some rebels in Coimbra. I'm pretty sure, once again, uh, that the French will be able to deal with all of this on their own. We will not be focusing on the Northern War, more or less at all. I will be leaving it in the hands of the French, and I will be leaving most of the battles in... Well, this is a, a no-brainer. I'll take that five prestige loss, even though it once again makes me more vulnerable to have to losing the French uh, Union, which could potentially here become a hilariously uh, a hilariously bad scenario. But uh, we'll see. Portugal. Wait, what? Um. Aren't you guys in the collision against me, or am I just getting things wrong here? Castile and Aragon. Something here is wrong. 
evolution mechanics aren't working. I'm honestly stumped here. I, I don't know what to do. Well, there is one thing here that actually tells me instantly what I should do. I should take this opportunity to, well, most of us restore these guys. And unfortunately, of course, I will be getting uh, War Exhaustion and Cancer Spell Analysis. But at this at this point, I just don't give a damn. I want to get them. I want to get rid of them. So we'll, we'll sacrifice some points to to do that. And let's see here. Portugal actually got Aragorn in on their side, which I find peculiar. Really peculiar, considering the fact that uh, Protestant cells in London, that needs to be dealt with. Uh, but once again, I find that incredibly peculiar. And the reason for my uh, finding it peculiar is because Castile is also in that uh, collision, but they didn't actually get any, any sort of uh, negatives from that. So that's, once again, weird. Can I win this battle? I doubt it, but I can always try. And hopefully, if I win this battle, we should be able to win the war. And I don't think I will win this battle. Well, maybe. No, I won't win that battle. Anyways, that doesn't matter. I'll get my fleet back to safety and we'll send a new mercenary army here to hopefully sweep up whatever's left of the uh, Portuguese. But uh, I'm, I'm, honestly, uh, I'm honestly stumped here. I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea why... Uh, well, any of this is uh, well doing as it is doing, so to speak. And my confusion is just getting uh, more and more. Well, more and more like confusion. I had truces with any of them. The only thing I can imagine here is that a truce potentially between. Yeah, potentially a truce between these guys actually means they can't interact in coalition with each, with it, each other. No idea if that is actually some kind of a bug, but. I don't know. Honestly. Honestly, I'm just too confused to, to actually care here. Do not join up on any of my armies, please. Just siege, please. Do not join up on that army either. Don't you dare. Inu. Well, we are still working up here, so it's fine. Uh, anyways, I'll uh, continue the war. I'll get a new mercenary squad uh, down there. We'll deal with the Protestant rebels in London. And hopefully here, yeah, without we'll be able to do all that without getting uh, massively screwed. We'll see how it goes. Mission complete. So, solidify our papal relations. With that, we uh, have the Pope loving us. I can't colonize either St. Bartholomew or uh, colonize the Caribbean. In this case, we are going to uh, colonize St. Bartholomew because it gives me an increase in, uh, well, boost. Of course, I have to find figure out where the hell that place actually is. And the best way of doing that is, is of course, just going to the uh, fine province, Bath, Bartholomew, which is actually... Yeah, it's Caribbean Isle. Well, that's fine. Uh, once one of my colonists are done, most likely the guy in Massachusetts, we are going to uh, send him to said province to speed things up. Now, do you know what? We're actually going to just do that straight away to make sure that we can actually send him there. The boost in uh, colonization people will be uh, greatly appreciated, so uh, that's fine. And it's probably kind of mean to call him colonization people, but that's fine too. Anyways, let's see. Uh, what kind of deals do I want with these guys? I want, of course, these two, but... I have to see if I can actually afford or even actually end up fighting Tuscan to the point where I can actually release Sicily. I'll probably do that. But uh, we'll see. It's a lot of uh, it's a lot of bricks playing here. But for now, we'll uh, we'll wait. We'll get ourselves ready to attack Portugal. And hopefully, it'll be over soon. There we go. Well, St. Ptolemy has been uh, colonized. And as a result of that, we have completed our mission. We'll get the boost. I can improve our prestige. I can create a proper fleet or improve relations with Makian. Uh, we'll improve the prestige here. Three point is uh, stability is not anything that we can really say uh, say no to here. And they must be right or we'll ignore them. I think we'll ignore them. It's kind of a ch I'm, I'm kind of challenging things here. My king isn't really that old, but even so, it's uh, it's kind of risky to go this low on the pre prestige scale without any well good way of getting it back up. Let's just say that. We are going to send these guys down to the Portuguese Isles, though, and hopefully we can get it soon. Well, this is kind of an interesting one. As you can see, a carnal sins. It's an event that gives you an heir or well, papal influence. The need of an heir goes before the need of forgiveness. As you can see, I will get an illegal heir with a weak claim, which of course will mean revolt. But he's a 464. With a 464, you can basically do a lot due to the excessive amount of points. So, in this case, I will accept. George as the new weak heir to the throne. As you can see, the war against Castile is going nicely. The uh, 
French really only has to fight the uh, the rebels over here, so that's that's grand too. And I'm still having kind of a difficult deciding whether or not I should uh, try and col colonize something here. But of course, these guys here, yeah, I think we will use those most of these as a col colonial squad, so we will start colonizing down the down the coast here. I think I'll just use one for the time being, but uh, we'll just add people as uh, as we see fit down down the line. Massachusetts just became a uh, complete colony, and with that, we have now the 13 colonies. And I can potentially <laughs> that is bull that is bullshit. Why is there a nine percent nationalism? Wait, what? So the colonies feel nationalism towards what me? I'm confused. I'm I'm really confused there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll continue the war here. I'll be moving, as I said, these guys to uh, to Sierra Leone. I think they will be able to beat the natives. I would be kind of shocked if they weren't. So as you can see, they did beat them, and we'll continue. Uh, we'll actually start, I guess it's a better word, colonizing Africa or Western to Southern Africa now, which is uh, probably something I should have done far earlier. We can now convert Labord, who I could, well, try London. It will take forever though, so I think we'll just slowly but surely make our way over there. We will have a march to the 16k army here to Labord in order to keep the rebels at bay. And I think also, as I said, in the war against Castile here, we will most likely just uh, go for uh, taking back these two and taking mercy on top of that, just to make sure they can't colonize at all. That should be fine. But uh, as of now, there's nothing special to do, so we'll just wait for the war to end. Uh, what I could actually do is start building some of my trading fleets. I have... Uh, I can build two trading fleets of 50 ships. Wait a minute, how, how am I doing tech-wise? Do I want to wait for 15? No, I can build one. I'll build two ships of uh, 25, or two fleets of 25 ships. That should be, that should be per perfectly alright. So, it's time to start building some trading fleet here. We'll see how that goes. As you can see, I can actually order the polarization of uh, of the Portuguese here. Of course, it will actually cost me one diplomatic power. And the only one that actually be pissed by this, due to the fact that it's, well, far away, is the Portuguese. So, we will be doing this. It's uh, it's not that, it's not too mean, really. It's, uh, it's just good business, so to speak. Also, the fact that they could potentially have colonized Africa here before I could do anything is also a very good reason, I dare say, to why I... Uh, I uh, did the right thing and just got rid of them. Anyways, we are going to split the uh, mercenary army that's here in two, and I'm going to send the other one to the other isle in an effort to, well, keep it under our control. Castile has uh, more or less fallen. We can most likely probably get the deal that we're after. I just, I, I really only have to wait for uh, my diplomat to get back here, and then potential uh, what we want to do here. I think we'll uh, send a merchant there for a little bit of extra points with that golden discovery. We have got Inu to be self well. I was about to say self cleaning, but uh, that wouldn't that wouldn't really that wouldn't really makes too much sense now, would it? Uh, I think we'll also go ahead and conquer this uh, this tribe right here. We're going to use just these two thousand men to do it. And the reason why I wanted to conquer this tribe here is very simple. It could potentially be a problem in in my effort to do that, so I think we'll we'll just wait for now. We'll col we'll colonize our way up there, and I think I might actually have to send some ships to uh, to flip these guys around. We'll see. I will not be taking anything here. I don't think I need it right now, and we'll be focusing more on military tech. Potentially, I'll take something if I'm far ahead in military, but for now, just leave things as they are. And we do have one hundred percent Moscow with uh, the dreaded, uh, well, dreaded and dreaded. The annoying, uh, the annoying Castilians, and of course we'll take Mercy as well, as per the uh, as per the plan. And this will leave Castile as a, well, surprisingly enough, a landlocked nation, and as such, they pose no threat to me whatsoever. Argon needs to be done though, so we will most likely conquer most of their lands on our own. We'll uh, have to see how that goes. We'll probably force release of uh, countries if we can. If not, we'll uh, we'll simply have to see how it plays out. For now, however, this is the what we're going for. And I am perfectly content with it. We won't have too much of extension either. Luckily enough, due to the fact that... Wow, that's that's quite expensive. Uh, anyways, as we're saying, we won't have too much of extension either. And the reason for that is, again, 
very simple. The promise I couldn't take an aunt worth that much, and well, the uh, I'm always easy to convert. Well, this, yeah, I was about to say this has to be the Ottomans. If that is the Portuguese that I just the next that I've somehow found a way to get me brought back to life, I would have been horribly, horribly mad. But um, unfortunately, we are more or less out of time. We can still left the military coalition. That's good. Uh, I can live with that. But uh, we have. We have gotten rid of uh, Portugal, because still has been completely elim eliminated as a potential rival in uh, the colonization business. And all that I really need to do here now is get some of the trading fleets up and running to get a little bit of extra cash. And I think we'll plot a war against the, uh, the Swedes next time. Thank you for watching. Please have a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like. And hopefully, I'll see you around next time. Bye.